Hello everybody, my name is Master Alphas, and it's time to play a 35 player free for all in the Planetary Annihilation. Uh, today, uh, we have 5 celestial bodies to utilize, we have Mararasha as our spawn point, Pakistan as one of our Haley usable moons, Ukraine, Turkey, and Siberia. By the way, as you can probably notice by the fact that there's no green dots, that there's no mexes on any of these moons. All the mexes you can get are from Mararasha, which is going to be pretty darn sick actually, if I do say so myself. Look at this formation, actually. Good God, that's that's really beautiful. <laughs> like, wow. That shit kind of looks like an eyeball. Yeah, it does. Right over there. Look at that. Look at that eyeball. Just staring at you. Good golly. That is one big eyeball. And then this is like the pupil. Anyway, so. Basically put, what you have to do is you have to dominate this massive planet. And if you have enough mexes, then you can go off into Turkey or Siberia or... Ukraine or Pakistan use these as your missiles and then bombard the main planet you really can't use these as moon bases because like how are you gonna get eco I mean yeah you could get the eco you know, from Mex is over here in mother Russia but on the moons no you can't get eco look, look at that crap look at this nothing I mean maybe you could get solar panels and energy but that's really about it oh it's starting it's fucking starting Right now, there's so many players, I can't even scroll down to look at them all. Alrighty then. Some of the players have said that they're going to spam out toxins early on, so I'm just going to, I guess, hunker down and hope that my dog doesn't get ripped off in this game. For 35 players, this is actually running pretty smooth, but I cannot wait till they spam out doxes because the server is going to die. I remember in the last game that I played with about 40 players or so, there was a multitude of different planets with varying sizes and tons of people were spamming doxes, so I guess that actually caused a little bit of lag. This time around, we have a massive planet, and then we have four moons that are fairly small, actually, so maybe there won't be as much lag. Who knows, though? Who really knows? All I know is that this is a big chunk of territory I have. And I must be pretty lucky to have three mexes at the start. Granted, though, I would love to get this amount of mexes. Look at this. Look at this crap. Hold on a sec. I'm going to go ahead and speed up my radar. I got to check out if redoxes are coming in now or they're coming in later. Getting out quick T2 would probably be the death of me, to be honest. Oh, there would be a red known as Betty. There she blows. There she blows. Okay, let's go ahead and get out into her factory. And then afterwards, I'm going to go and pump out ants really quick. I also probably want to pump out fighters later on. Hello, greenish player. <laughs> That's not helpful. <laughs> There's so many green players. Okay, how much does the radar see? A pretty good amount. And we can go ahead and get all the mexes on this side. Get the mexes on that side, and then we can go ahead and chop off our production with a third vehicle factory. Who's that? Who that? I don't. I don't know. It's blue. Alright, hold on a sec. Gonna get out Air Factory so that I can check out this area. Well, this is actually a pretty good amount of mechs over here. Okay, it is possible that red is going ants. If so, I'm gonna have to prepare for that. Oh, shit. Blue's gonna expand. Uh, this is not good. This really isn't good. With blue going over there to expand, and then red over here. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to prioritize who I want to kill first. Well, I guess what I should do is fix out my eco. Hmm, but how do I focus on energy or do I focus on maxes? I don't really have a lot of maxes to utilize. Hold on, tech. Okay. I'm gonna wait. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna push forward. Fighter, show me what I need to see. Couple vans. Spinner. 
go to full orbital really fast. Oh, damn. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. See you pumping out ants and stuff like that. Big concern is I don't want to run on a low efficiency because I want to constantly pump out uh, units. Where's the factories? Come on, what is a commander? Like, fucking one shot me. That's crazy. Oh, god damn it. Look at this crap. Okay, okay, come on. No, 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 no. Aww. Yeah, maybe I can push him out with the Astraeus. Let's continue getting energy plants because we need to fix up my energy a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, right now I have the ant advantage over Hank over here. Wow, first player's already out. Hmm, let me see now. I'm trying to leave via the Astraeus, because that ain't right. That ain't right, soul sister. God, he has so much expansion in this area. I'm gonna have to back off really quick. Get a little bit more factory production going. If I just get enough mexes, I'm fine. But my issue is that I might not get enough mexes. See what this blue player is up to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight him. Because he has a lot of stuff. And it seems like he has a crap ton of stuff. More than red, actually. God, I hate being surrounded. But that's, that's kind of the name of the game, I guess, at this point. Oh, crap, there's teal over there. Oh, no. There's enemies all around the gates. Huh, some orbital stuff. Let me go ahead and fix that baby up. Gotta check out the orbital. Easy to build anchors. That's okay. I'm gonna build an umbrella so that he doesn't use those anchors anymore. Who is ya? I don't know who you're referencing. Are you referencing me, friend? Are you? A lot of air going down. Okay, let's just go ahead and expand over here. Is Blue the enemy commander? No, he's not. It's weird how there is so much tank buildup. It is. Oh. That's bad. Okay, I think at this point, maybe defending my mexes near red is a little bit of fool's errand because. I should really deal with this blob over here. This blobby blob blob. Ah, the battle begins. Yeah, that's not good. Guys, I don't see a lot of mixes for him. That's weird. We need to take up the tier two in order to actually have like a substantial lead over our opponent. Oh, what a cunt. At least I can expand over here. That's good. Hmm, what is teal planning? Are you planning teal? Oh, blue's still continuing to send in forces. 
tempted to go with red strategy. Red strategy of mass ant buildup. See, this is all Unity has, from what I could tell. A radar sees its entire base. There's nothing going on there. Players are dying left, right, and center. It's crazy, crazy. I might actually move forward my commander. Maybe that could work. I don't know. All I know is that this blue shit has got to stop. Otherwise, I'm going to get wrecked. Could build out not hummingbirds anymore, but bumblebees. That could work. Oh, what a sneaky little cunt. I'll just go ahead and deal with his forces. Ooh, we have a laser turret over there. That's nice. Hmm, he has spinners in this army. He might see through my plan of building bombers. Well, at least I actually got his forces over here. That's pretty good. Go ahead and build more factories. More production is always pretty good. If I could just continue hammering down on his position and then afterwards claiming all the mexes that I lost, I should be fine. This area is my life flight at this point. Oh wow, Teal's going in hot after red. Huh. It's fucking karma, man. Oh no! The, the tail! The tail empire charges forward. I love this. I love this performance right now. Look at it, it's a lag. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it go. Now, if I could be totally honest, I might actually just push forward and attack blue right about now. It's a, bull it's a good thing I can see bullshit coming in a mile away. If it wasn't for this expansion, I'd probably be dead. Holy shit, the pauses are gonna be really annoying. I'm just telling you right now, people are gonna leave, and it's gonna be like a damn exodus. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and harass uh, purple a little bit, or red a little bit. I, I don't know what this color is anymore. I'm blind to colors. Okay, just rebuild the lost territories and it seems like teal is going off to red a little bit. It's weird. I actually have not seen red like move out at all. I, I will this darker red. This other red is I don't know. We've been at it. Okay, let me just go ahead and have my hummingbirds on standby. Hummingbirds have slowed down a little bit. That's, a, that's strange. Oh well. By having most of my factories produce just ants and ants alone, I'm able to get like a numerical advantage over blue. And then having my hummingbirds just devote themselves to most of the anti air sort of capabilities that I need. 
So now we can just barrel on through. Cause tons of damage to blue. If I could kill blue, I'd call that a victory. Huh. Well, um... Wait, Teal's not dead? But, but who died? I'm, I'm confused now. Okay, you have pelters and you have turrets. Allow me to take out one of those. Wow, your commanders are right over there. Okay, then let's go ahead and back off a tad. Right now, we just gotta continue the pressure. Continue the pressure. So, Teal's not dead yet. I don't see his base. I'm a little bit weirded out by this now. I'm just gonna go around town and try to maybe, just maybe, I don't know. Kill off his factories? That'd be pretty good. Use the bombers to kill his uh, turrets. If it wasn't for this area, I probably, I, I would be dead so long ago. No, don't get another radar. We already have radar. Go and get that area. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on, bombers, do your stuff. Let me continue the harass of blue a little bit. Yeah, blue must be feeling the pain now. Feel the pain. Feel it. You. Go and reclaim those mexes we lost long ago. Players are dying all over the place. It's anarchy. Anarchy, I tell you. Is that the, the commander? That is the commander, isn't it? Oh, I am going to back off. What? Where? Where? I see nobody. You lie. No, that is the commander. Oh, or maybe a really, really advanced version of the Vanguard. Time now to get some uh, power plants. <laughs> it's it's only been ants and bobbing birds. <laughs> oh, that's insane. We've done a good amount of damage. I'm not gonna even lie. Right now they're talking in the chat about like cores or some shit. Listen, I don't I don't know my computers, okay? I just you know buy them off of Toys R Us and I really just troll about that's about it. No Why must you have forsaken me? God, we're wasting so much energy. So much energy. Why? I must be at 100% efficiency all the time. That <laughs> way I don't die. Hold on, we're done with Mexes. Just shut up and let the commander do his thing. Did I just say we're done with Mexes? Oh boy. Oh boy, I have, I have caused a Pandora's box to form. You know what, Blue? I don't give a shit about you. And you don't give a shit about me. So how about this? How about we attack you on two different sides? I'm gonna go right over here. Did you just try to escape? I think you tried to escape. Oh, are we having like broadside duels? Ungod. Ungod. I, I will duel you to the end of the earth. Again, that one factory that's producing spinners could have been building ants and gotten like a massive like advantage over me but he's not building ants so that's pretty good for me oh he actually has two factories not producing ants that's that is terrible for business I'll tell you that much oh fuck off you wanker not a lot in the way of expansion for this player but we're gonna have to back off a little bit. 
Wait, we're red pushing forward. This is going to be a little bit interesting. No, I think I've killed off the majority of Blue's forces. Go ahead and get another one of you. Umbrella over here is going to block off any expansions that Red wants to do. Oh crap, that one bone bee is going to be the ch in the, cha in the face of change. This is the problem with having only hummingbirds as your anti-air, by the way. You cannot, and I do repeat, cannot lose them. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem. They don't, they don't come along your army. And they're easily shot down by rival hummingbirds and spinners. Oh, that was a basic uber cannon. Oh, never mind. Here's the thing though, like, old uber cannon's gonna be difficult to dodge because, you know, there's so much lag. Yeah, like right over there. We've done a good amount of damage to the commander though, so that's, that's all around nice. And we can continue going up north and continue to kill off these ants we should be able to maybe just maybe pound our way through and secure a massive victory you have no forces whatsoever and you're moving in listen man I'm gonna spank you alright and foremost do this second off let's do this come on it's time for tier two and we're not making any headway whatsoever we gotta get some tier two this is so slow What are those? Those are bumblebees. Is Red dead yet? Nope. I just want Red to die. I also want to destroy Blue's factories. Somebody just boom spot sniped me. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna get a radar so that we can check out this right side over here. Hummingbird, you are my only hope. You failed me. It's okay, a giant yellow blob is coming forward. Okay, you know what? You can stay there. I don't really mind. What's going on? Players are dying left, right, and center. And I'm just here in my internal war against blue. Must get tier 2. If Rothamus gets tier 2, Rothamus can maybe find love. Ooh, 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 will you fall for my trap card? Ha <laughs> Oh Fool Fool Gotta keep fighting the ants coming in Ants come marching one by one Hoorah Hoorah There is a rally's commander Hoorah Hoorah no hummingbird please get there faster I am pelting someone on Siberia Wait, what Max is friend uh, 
one shot, one kill. Just continue the barrel on forward. We'll win the day. Look, all we're doing right now is just spawn sniping the the blue ants. Whoa, who left? Guys, guys, I'm confused. Oh, there's, like, I guess, multiple people left at the same time or something. Oh, this hotshot demon. Who's hotshot demon? Red. Is it this red or is it that red? I can't tell. <laughs> there we go. One guy leaves. The game goes ballistic. That was indeed a pause. Was it red? Which red? I'm, I'm really confused. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be the corpse of Teal anywhere. So you know what? Yo, I'm gonna go over here. Peace out. Peace out, red. Uh, peace out. Slightly weirder hint of red. I think I've killed off blue once and for all. I'm not sure though. Just need to get that tier 2 set up. And then I'll be the happiest little person in the world. By the way, I'm going bumblebee snapping. I don't know about your hummingbirds. No. Get away. You know what to do. No. Fucking spinner. Oh well, charge on through. What is that? Oh, hello. You know what? Kill his commander. Um, what? What is this coming out of the woodworks? The horde. The horde is coming. Well, should I abandon my attempt for world domination or? Should I not? Wow, what a scum lord. Holy shit. I'm gonna build a bunch of walls and create the great wall of, I don't know, whatever this player is called. Yeah, come on. Can you not do that? No, you're gonna be like that? Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Like, when players do this, it's a little bit not fun. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Like, don't be a douche. Oh, well, he's just gonna slowly and slowly die off no matter what he does. Well, you're done and over with. Now red's coming after me, which is, I think, the biggest douchiest thing. Oh well. Do have levelers, so that's good. Let's just let's just pump out a ton of levelers, actually. That should change the tide of the battle. By by having like some really good tier two units, we're gonna dominate him. Just don't get my commander wet. I wouldn't like him getting destroyed, actually. And yeah, back off. Back off. Back the fuck off. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of 
Get out of town. Hmm? Get out of town. It's weird how this player has been stuck in a perpetual sort of limbo, I guess. Not doing shit. Okay, when all my factories are ready to go, my Wonder Force powers will unite. I'm gonna kick some booty. Here, you can continue. You can expand over here. And you can continue going down south. Because going down south is actually a pretty good thing. Oh, I'm gonna scout out Red somewhat. I'm gonna see what he's building. He might be getting some dangerous things, so I need to see what he's doing. He got a tier 2 factory. I only see one factory. It's from T1. Holy crap, what is he doing? Du -du -du -du. Okay, we need to go by red space one more time i just need to see if he got more than one factory if he doesn't i'm going in hot well i've really i've really sucked my balls here like look at this crap i have survived yeah, i don't see that many factories do see that he's trying to attack me on all sides. I'm just going to barrel down and attack him. See how he likes it. It doesn't seem as though he's getting out Bombi, so I think I'm safe for now. But more knowledge is needed, obviously. Let me scout your base. Why you have to be such a mini boo? Isn't me or just red is just a giant fuck bag? I'm not the only one who sees that, right? Yeah, yeah, like a giant fuck bag. The biggest. Please don't hit the walls. Prioritize the units first. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Alright, go ahead and get me some advanced radar really quick. Barreling down to Red's defenses. We will be able to punch through eventually and do untold amounts of damage, but for now, I guess the damage that we're causing is a little bit negligible. No, please, my scout. Uh, yes, now I can finally scout his base. No, there's more hummingbirds. Oh, my units would actually stop over there. That's a little bit strange. Oh, well. I'm just gonna bottle up into a little porcupine. Turn around and fire. Are you really getting a pelter, friend? You are. That is hilarious. You're a funny person. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh. Wow, okay. So you have no factories. You just have a commander shooting out ants left, right. Okay. Now I get what his game plan is. Which is, you know, just getting a bunch of fabricators to help you with production. I guess it's a good game plan. I mean, it works. It is a little bit annoying, though. I'm not gonna lie. I think everybody finds that annoying. Whatever. Just get some advanced energy, and then afterwards we can probably transition on over to I don't know some bigger stuff. Right now, time to take out red is a little bit annoying, especially with this lag. You can take out the air factory. Kill that pelter. Kill it. Mr. Jenkins, fire. Oh, crap. 
Now you'll be able to fire, right? Yes, you will. Good. Go, go, go. Another player down. Blue seems to be attacking red now. Gonna go ahead and tag out red really quick. Let blue deal with it. In fact, you know what? I will let blue deal with it. I don't even care. You want to fight red? Go ahead. I don't want to lose my shit. Whoa. Who's that Pokemon? There's another guy. Who is that? I don't even know. So many colors. So many goddamn colors. I remember back in middle school, we used to do ICUP, ICUP, colorful colors. <laughs> that was funny. Those were times when you could be disgusting in high school. I, I mean, middle school, and nobody would give a shit. Well, I was pretty disgusting in high school, actually, give or take. I was always disgusting. I'm a fucking worm. I guess levelers are where we're gonna go. Right now, game plan is this. Let let blue do whatever the fuck he wants with red. And I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want with my friend over here. This is my friend. Look at my friend. My friend is a very nice friend. I will kill him though, but it's kinda par for the course. By the way, are you set up anywhere else? No. Okay. We might want to go to another, like, planet, so that we could maybe try and potentially just, maybe, I don't know, um, keep our commander alive? Good strategy. Oh, that's good. All right, hold on a tick. Gonna go ahead and produce some hummingbirds right now, because I do want some more air defense, and I feel like that's neglecting why I, I've been neglecting that quite a bit. There's 4,000 to 6,000 units on the map right now. That is insane. Maybe 3,000, maybe 3,000, give or take. Some more hummingbirds, and let's go ahead and patrol these babies. I don't know if this actually causes any lag, but I guess we'll figure that out. No, don't patrol. No, oh, craps. <laughs> no, it's begun again. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait. Why do people keep leaving? Don't leave, just just look at the game. It's beautiful. At least there's less people that need to like resume. All right, I found Freelancer. But who is the player? I who is this player over here? I don't I don't know. I can't see. Negatron, you have caused us so much pain. I guess Hotshot Demon was red? Oh, so he was AFK. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. Well, not AFK, but he was out of the game. Okay, so I can move my commander to, like, maybe this moon. Actually, more likely this moon. I'm gonna have to get an orbital radar to check out and see if it's safe. Because I don't want my commander to die. Pieces have been pretty small so far, even though we have so much landmass. Um. Let's look at my commander really quick. Look at him. Look at him. The Gunnar Far commander. Or is it Gung Far? Gung Fur? The Gung Fur commander. I just love the way that he looks. It's just like a giant smiley face on his mouth. Uh, and it's not his mouth, his body. Have Teal and Blue been fighting? Not gonna lie, that would kind of make sense. Ah! We're back. The dinosaur story. And go ahead and focus in on that commander. 
Now, anchors could defend against, like, massive invasions. It has happened. However, I have too many forces. God, he has way too many T2 units. Whatever. I'll just go ahead and build up another vehicle factory. T2 vehicle factory. No, don't back off. You don't have a chance. Come on, friend. Go to sleep. It's past your bedtime. bit more volleys no no oh no 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 yes there we go fuck off oh no I do not want to see you no offense no offense, but I don't want to see you ever again. Huh? Huh? Hello there, Pink. How are you today? I'm gonna build one bumblebee just so that I can mess around with pink. Should probably get out of radar so I can check out and see if this is gonna happen again. Yeah, me mexes are doing terrible. I know this. I know this to be a fact. I already have a solution, my dear brothers and sisters. We go ahead and get tier 2 mechs. So go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it seems like I've dealt with most of my natural enemies, actually, so that's good. My borders are solid. I have some far away dudes I have to deal with, but I'm free. I'm free. I, I don't have to worry about shit anymore. In fact, I have enough AA to survive an airstrike, so that's good. I think what I should do now is try to scout out some of these other opponents. Right now, I am right next to the Empire of Sound Yatra? Yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And this might be Germany XX3. I'm not sure. Again, there are a lot of fucking colors. Orbital factory located. That would be on Purple's Moon. No Haley's as of yet, by the way. Where are you going? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Can I go? Da, 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 da. That's a big wall. Holy fucking moly. Okay, how about this now? We're gonna get some spinners from my factory. And I think we should go ahead and get more air factories. Sounds good. I think that sounds wonderful. Whoa, what? Where did you come from? P. Jonas Mod. Is this the start of a massive amount of uh, boxes coming forward? I guess this is. Alright, well, let's go ahead and move to the left. Doesn't seem like green is going to attack us anytime soon, so that's good. You, can you scout out and see where this, um, this player is? It's the Jonas mod.
Come on, everybody. Just move. Just move. And you guys can go ahead and get me some tier 2 metal. We need tier 2 metal everywhere. We have enough space to actually get the metal. It's wonderful. Ah, uh, where is that player? Can't find him. It's not over here. So it must be traveling a while. Ah, there he is. And there are players dying all over the place. His nucleus might be over here. That would make sense. Alright, as soon as I'm done with, I think, this mech's over here, I'm just gonna maybe chill about. Wait a tad. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, there's his base. Let's stop building advanced fabbers. What am I doing? Building advanced fabbers. If anything, I want some more units, actually. Wait a minute. You're over here. You were also over there. I'm a little bit confused now. Where, where are you, friend? Are you indeed, friend? Are you foe? Okay, stop that production. Keep patrolling. And let's go ahead and take all these guys and get some advanced power set up. Then we'll get some radar. Okay, so how big is the space over here? Must be fairly huge, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know though. Could be small as crap. You guys get back. We have T2 two mechs coming in, so we don't need T1 mech production. Surprisingly, actually, this space is kind of small. Yeah, this base is hella small. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. He's multi-fucking layered. Like a damn onion. Actually... Hold on. Oh, oh, Blue's dead. I gotta figure out where his production's coming in from. There it is. And I'm dead. Oh. Hold on. It's the end times for me. Okay, well, I'm birds get around. I'll tell you a story. Oh, about a giant cunt. Ah. The best thing to do would be to just let my spinners do the talking, and I can't even see my forces now. I just realized my colors are exactly, well not exactly, but almost identical to his. Probably should have gotten some flak. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Why is he attacking these mexes and not this one? Oh well. Okay, now, is this his army, or is this, like, another color? Now, now I'm getting confused. Holy crap, how big is Jonas Mod? more of my spinners are produced then I will survive this one 
I will survive. And if not, then eh. Come on, events energy, go. Yeah. But we're kind of being torn apart by two different factions. Um, three different factions, actually. I guess we we're too large for our own good. Well, that's okay. We can be a little bit more inclusive. Uh, well, here comes Jonas mod. Okay, we have enough spinners. Yeah, this this sucks. We're being attacked by like two different factions right now. Oh, well, that that does tend to happen, I guess. We it's like what? I'm 35 or so players. Should have left the planet early. Oh well. No, these scum lords are gonna tear me a new asshole. Orange and blue are working together. I I don't know which orange you're talking about, friend. I'm sorry. Might be a way to win, but hmm, require a lot of balancing. Back, hold him back. Okay, after this army, there seems to be no forces coming in from Jonas at all, so that's good. So we just have to defend against this massive horde, and then we're fine. Let's pull back my fabricators actually to the inner sanctum. Oh, thank god, the radar is actually gonna help us out quite a bit. Okay, so you know what? We can't defend against um, the attacks of Jonas and a lot of these other players. What the fuck? We weren't able to kill the Infernos in time? That sucks. Oh well. Now we can. Ha! Ah. Now we have tons of spinners now. I like to see him come into my house. Just um, one uber cannon. Just to end it all. There we go. Okay. So, I need to go ahead and continue getting out tier 2 mechs. By getting out tier 2 mechs, then I can have like a smaller base, but with relatively more eco than a lot of other players who don't get tier 2 mechs. That's going to be the game plan. We're just going to have to be a little bit more reclusive. I guess, you know, a historical example would be maybe the Byzantine Empire. We're just going to have to let the barbarians take our lands. And you know what? We just troll about in Anatolia, which is fine. I like Anatolia. There's no other forces coming in from Jonas. So that's good, but we still do have hordes of units to deal with. And pink is going to eventually try to defend this mechs area, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. <laughs> the two greens next to each other. Yeah, I know. It's I'm green, he's green. Fucking giant blob. No, there's still nothing. How much of this? How much can you see, Radar? Yeah, you can see quite a bit. All right, so we will know beforehand if um, Jonas is actually going to attack us. I'm gonna use his actual name because honestly, this is this is difficult. It's so difficult to just like remember the colors. How many T2 Maxes do I need though in order to actually be self-sufficient? 
pink on the move, pink on the move. Probably not in my area, I'll tell you that much. And let me zoop by, zoop. Doombo doo. Oh, that's that's a shame. Oh well. Let's move on forward. Here we'll have <laughs> these two constantly produce spinners. This army's not moving forward, so I'm assuming he is going to attack Jonas. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. He's gonna put me to sleep. It's gonna be a blanket. Yeah. Um. I know these are doxes, by the way. I, I know. Alright, we're, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back. I, I ain't gonna deal with this shit. No, they're not toxins, they're worse, they're boom bots. <laughs> they're boom bots. Hold them back. Hold them back. How, how does this how does this even happen? Oh he's actually using spy planes, kind of mitigating the lack of boom bot vision. That's really cool. Um where is he going? I don't know. I am not going to argue. I do not care. I will go back. This isn't my fight. This isn't my fight. I do not care. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and harass the crap out of Teal really fast. Are you dead yet, friend? I guess we'll check that out. You seem to be dead. I am now happy that you are dead because you scared the crap out of me. You continue to scare the crap out of me. Ah ha ha! Come at me, broski. I am here for you. Jonas is a very hateable guy. Look at that, he's just he's patrolling with his bombers now. What a douche. I'm gonna attack this green. Because my green is better than his green. All, all I know right now is this. Wait, why do I... Oh no. Pink on the move. Sleeping giant has awakened. You know, at this point, guys, it's not about winning the game. It's how long I can survive. This isn't a strategy game anymore. It's evolved into, a, like, a survival game. A survival horror. Where you have to battle hordes and hordes and hordes of enemies. Okay, can you, like, kill, please? I hope you realize... Uh, you know what? Actually, no. I'm not gonna send over any fighters anymore to pink. That'd be a, a fool's errand. What we need to do is keep to our territory, right? That way, we don't overextend. Because overextending is pretty bad. Because then little barbarians will pick us off and, you know, the Holy Roman Empire again. And uh, that's not good. What we need to do is maybe kill this player. Yeah, if we kill this player, I feel like the universe will be solid. I... Oh, golly. That's not good. This isn't good at all. Okay. So Jonas is being a giant douche. We all know this. This is not an unheard of event. Pink is moving forward. He killed all my mexes. Granted, I was gonna lose those anyway. Like, I mean, my goodness. The fact that I've had them for so long was really weird. Can someone please get in Haley and just smash this entire area? Send us all the hell, please. 
Here, we'll send these ants forward a little bit. This is super fucked up. He's just killing everything. <gasps> no! You were supposed to attack Jonas! He's up north! Don't attack me! It's like Rawfulness doesn't get a break. Pull them back to Tide. How are those T2 Maxes? One's almost done. Oh, wait, we're healing a, you up. We're not making a max. Oh, come on. You're, that's useless. He's already healthy as a horse. Calm yourself. We had two teams of mexes, right? Or mex creators. Yeah, we had this one and then we had this one. We might just like hold back on the two team strategy. Like, it's cool and all, but at the same time, it wastes so many resources. Yeah, so maybe these guys. We're still pretty bad on um, resources, however. Because we've lost tons of mexes here, and we're trying to get tier 2. Oh, Jonas! Giant douche. Hold on. I'm gonna rally everything right over there. All of my spinners. Sorry guys, I'm quitting. What are you? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Here comes Count Douchey Lot. Back! What are you doing? I wonder, did he just leave his units there and then just like, uh, chill about? Oh no, he didn't delete his commander. Oh no, wait, he did. Okay, good. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm a happy-go-lucky camper, just like you. I don't know if he has enough units or not to kill off my commander. No, he doesn't. But are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. You have some lingering units, though, so I'm just gonna chill about. Get my guys over there stat. Okay, so we need to get flak. Now that I have like a good kind of, I guess, solid eco, we need to get flak. Oh, why, Jonas? Why do you hate me? Is it because I'm brown? I can't help it. Question is, why are you leaving Jonas alone? You're right next door to him and you just like leave him alone? Friend, do you do me to a life of suffering? Do you hate me so? Oh my god. The floodgates have opened. Hell has arisen. Oh. Um. No, oh, never mind. I'm dead. I am dead. Like a cactus. Like, look at this. Oh. Walls and energy plants and the amount of factories here. Wow. This this is it. This is it, friend Doritos. I thought I told you to build some flak. You know what, that's okay. This, this is it. We're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep. Wait. 
Wait. Let me get my units over there. Ah. Oh, wow. You were going to get a six before you actually died? That's pretty cool. No, nobody actually had any defense for six eight either. Douche. Ugh. Master of Rawfulness doesn't get a break. Yeah, what a pretty shit eco. Mm. Oh well. I hope you run into blue right now. Yeah, I hope you run into blue. Go, go die. Maybe we should move off world. I heard Ukraine is very nice this time of year. Why must you cripple me? Okay, somehow I will survive. I, I won't tell you how, but I will survive. Wish I could fix my metal. But all of my metal points are getting harassed. Hold on. Off of the corpse of green, I will get out metal. Yeah, and more metal, yeah. This is it. This this is it. This is the final countdown. I I can gladly say though that I am one of the few survivors that are left after the initial phase. So that's good. I took down like two guys. That that was nice, I guess. Try to fix out my tier two. Didn't work out. That's quite as planned. And we got bit by like three different factions. Hold on a sec though. Might not be over. Because I just realized that you have a lot of infernos. Infernos are crap. So that means that ergo your military is crap. And you have lots of doxes. Hmm. Let me see. Hold on. We might actually just win this. Well, no, no. We're going to lose this no matter what because of this. Okay, so you have actually a pretty small force. I just realized that. Where's my advanced fabric with the flat cannons that he was producing? I can't find him. Oh no. He died. He died. He was the one hope. Here comes the mother bird. Now, if Jonas. Yeah, he's gonna walk through the spinners, isn't he? Well, see you in hell, buddy boy. We should have more flak. We don't have more flak. Uh. 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 Oh my god, I can't see crap. We survived somehow. Oh, there you are. Hey. The horde has been defeated. Push forward, my brothers. Push forward, my brothers. Hold them back. Whoa, we died? Huh. Oh, the gillies, okay. Eh. Well, we survived as long as we did. God, that sucks, though. Wait a minute, you were over here and you decided to harass me over here? That, you douche. You had red to deal with. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, this player left Jonas all alone. Does Jonas have the eagle to actually produce that nuke? No, he doesn't. Okay, what's going on on the other planets? <laughs> Pakistan is currently unoccupied. Ukraine is the same. Turkey is... <laughs> what the hell <laughs> is this? 
some sort of weird alternate dimension where Germany has like no eco and Orange is just like, hey. Siberia is well, Siberia. This player is AFK though. Yeah, he's AFK. Where's Cola Colin? Oh no, he's spectating, right? I love Yellow's formation. Just like huddle into a corner and cry formation. What was my eco, by the way? Um. Okay. Who am I again? I'm this guy, right? That's me. Well, my eco was pretty shit, yeah. It was getting better, but I think I didn't get T2 that fast. Question, did you guys even, like, have any altercations? You fucking didn't. You, you had, like, a non-aggression pact or some shit like that. Whoa. I don't know who was pinging, but someone was pinging. But yeah, you guys had, like, some sort of non-aggression pact. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go back to the corner cam anymore because there seems to be a lot of pings. Yeah, I should have gotten T2 a little bit earlier. That was my bad. And I should have gotten Flak as well. That could have helped. Then those gillies killed me. I should have also gotten off planet and then hide my commander. And then just like rely upon this base. Just like kind of and I'll produce units and shit. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. Huh, why is he ping over there? Pings don't work. Free for alls, you can't see them. Unless he's spectating. Oh, wow. The chrono cam looks so much cleaner. Yeah, I moved forward my commander. That was pretty bad. Then the ghillies were able to snipe him. Granted, they were going to push forward no matter what. I just did not have enough forces. Who's that player? What is he? Who's he saying he's going to win? Sardauker? Sardauker? Oh, yeah, he actually has enough bombers to maybe one shot all of the commanders. All right, so I feel like main reason why probably like this player was able to produce a lot of bombers was because nobody harassed them. Maybe I mean, because I don't see a lot of like factories. Hold on a sec. Let's check that out. No, he was harassed. Just nobody had enough anti-air. Alright. I'll just zoom back into reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Oh. Wow, and I thought this player had a lot of bombers. This guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like Jonas getting the nuke would be a bad decision. Well, there goes all the progress. And there goes Jonas. Who left? Hanzuki disconnected. Hanzuki would be what player again? I don't even know. And yeah, Jonas is dead. Ironically, through a method that he tried to employ on me. Good God, I was not going to survive this. Like, if I somehow was able to beat back Jonas, 
I still wouldn't have won this free for all game because good golly, look at all those air units. Look at all those air units. I did not have the production. I also didn't have enough eco. Yeah, here comes the next wave. Now, from what I can understand, Blue has enough flak, so maybe he could. Ooh, that's a lot of. That is a lot of death. That is a lot of death. Damn. Damn, son. <laughs> I, d I don't think <laughs> this player knows the definition, though, of. Uh, what was it? Another strategy? He's just like, listen, we either go in with poppers or we don't go in at all. Now, I would like to look at my two favorite players again. Where are they? There they are. What is this? What am I looking at? I see orange and I see blue. And I'm like, wait, what? What is, what is this game now? I can't believe everybody is now going to huddle together in the field position. What? Who paused it? Did someone leave again? No, there's no BRN uh, Jelly Mc McNelly is over here. I don't know who's left so far. No, nobody left. Okay, so it was just like a pause. I can't believe there's that little players left. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Pazuki left. That would be this gentleman over here, I think. Right? Yeah, it would be that guy. Yeah, I would like actually more metal. You kind of sort of get screwed over with uh, your position actually on this map. Somewhat, somewhat. Please, Pazuki, find Jesus soon. I wonder how this player is going to survive. Like, I mean... He has a ton of flak. That's good. And if this player continues to build bombers, then he's going to lose all the time. I still don't know what's happening over here. This is some sort of weird, I guess. I don't know, this is sort of really, really strange um, limbo state that these both of these players are in. How you have the eco to... Oh, you don't have the eco. I just realized that. Yeah, your eco is at about, like, 30. Oh... Was it worth it? Was it, friend? I guess in his eyes it is. It's all Kyogre now. I don't know, what's Red's game plan? He has all these mechs he can expand to. He can become a deity. He already is a deity. God, so many dead players. 
This is just weird. You won't be able to do this. You just you just cannot win with just bombers alone. He needs something else. You know, if he gets a nuke, he could win with that. Uh, let's see, how many anti nukes do you have? One with no missile. Yeah, a nuke would help you, friend. I just, I just don't know what to say about these players. It's obvious that they're both working together. Because, I mean, Boo's like, oh, hey, you want to build your nuke? Go build it. And then we're just like, hey, K, broski. In Siberia, I, I don't even know what's going on. How are you going to build all of this with like 30 metal? Oh, 99 metal. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. He doesn't need spy planes anymore, does he? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. If blue brings in spinners and just charges forward and kills all the red stuff, he can win the game. I mean, he has enough flak, right? Uh, I don't know about that. Wait a minute, hold on. If you build hornets, yeah, you can outrange those turrets, actually. You can probably kill a good chunk of Blue's economy, and afterwards march him for the kill. Oh, he's getting orbital. Oh, he's gonna take out the anchors. Look at those little boombots. Look at them crawl about. Ooh, I'm a little boombot. shame you would think that there would be more orbital play but that is not oh my god that is massive he has a lot more bombers than he let on how many bombers does he have quick let's look at the army count oh crap yeah you're gonna have to find jesus friend because um let's just say that this ball over here it's it's not for hugs and kisses oh my god that is unstoppable. Is it coming now or is it coming later? It's a ball. It's a big ball. Biggest ball in the world. Maybe he's sending them in along with the boom bots. Oh, Boobots are so cute. They're like little babies. Okay, what is he waiting for? What is, what is he waiting for? The last bits and pieces of the... Oh, he's building two blobs. Um, no, never mind. He didn't build two blobs. I guess he's just building more bombers. How many more bombers can you need? Oh, here comes the last end of teal. I wonder. Okay, so you have like a 
couple spinners. How many spinners do you have? You have about... Oh crap, I can't figure that out. Shit, I wish there was more tabs that could tell me, oh, spinners or ants or doxes. There probably is, I'm just stupid, but... That's, that's the usual thing. Oh my god, maybe he's just waiting for Teal to leave and now he's gonna jump on the chance to kill him. You're cruel, you're a cruel man, BRN. What is your name? BRN. No, that's Total Annihilation. Nope, that, your name would be BRN. Elite. Start the core? Start the car? Don't know where that's from. A lot of vanguards. I love how the vanguards don't crush the little small bots. Now, is he hemorrhaging on eco? No, he's not. He's. I don't know. Wait, this time. No, he's not. He's doing pretty damn good. 842 mexes. Oh man, and compare that to Jelly McNelly. Ooh, it's almost no comparison. Jelly, no! That's not the way to Mordor, it's this way. What are you planning for? What are you what are you going to do? Hmm? I mean, at this point, he has about like 1,200 mobile units and 24 fabricators. That's a lot of units. Most of that aren't bots and doxes. They are <laughs> the fighters and bombers here. I guess he thinks Flak is really powerful. And maybe Flak is very powerful. The Flak Cannon. Ain't a Flak Gun, it's a Flak Cannon. Commander's knee deep in all this flak, and then on top of this, he has a few hummingbirds and anchors. There's also anchors. Granted, anchors aren't that powerful. You know, only 25 damage. How much does the boom bot do? 700. As you can see, there's like almost no comparison. A bolo does 84. Oh, bro, radar first. I wanted to see if the coast is clear. I guess he wants, like, literally the perfect snipe so that nothing goes wrong. Pale blue? Which one is pale blue? Would it be this one? This is pale blue? I mean, I don't even know. Your evil plan? What evil plan? What is your evil plan? You had a plan? You don't have a plan. These guys, on the other hand, have a plan. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh my god. So he's using the fabricators to assist the nuclear missile launcher. I wonder, can we talk to the other players? I guess we can. Uh, hi. I mean, at, the, at this point, I feel like what Pale Blue needs to do is just get a bunch of fighters and spinners and hide. Or get a nuke. Yeah, get three nukes, right? Nuke this entire area. And then afterwards, once you're done killing all the areas, you just go in. Just go. Pretty projectiles. Ooh, reclaiming action going on. 
Took it out the life force of all the players around him. Well, there's my little Hubble of Jubble. Look at that. I mean, does he even know how many flak um blue has? Hold on. Wait, how do I check out vision? Ah, there we go. Uh, let me only check out the vision for you. Yeah, he knows. He knows what he's up against. He ain't dumb. Is that is that a rhetorical question? Cause I mean, I think we know who's gonna win just based on the fact that he has a massive economic advantage, and then on top of this, this stack of doom over here. And who else? Who else? Then we have like these Dongarinos that are chilling out on this moon who have like hardly any eco. We have Purple who's. I don't know what Purple's doing. I don't know what Purple's doing. Like, my, my confusion is why doesn't he go in now? What is, what is he waiting for? Well, at least purple's pretty much dead. Well, actually, no, he has a couple fabricators here, so he's not off world yet. We're just gonna figure out which moon the other players are on. They're not on this one, but he will know that they're on this one over here. Is this commander in there? Oh, it's just a Astraeus, right? He sent over Astraeuses, and he didn't put in his commander? It's the mind games. Ah, I see. That way, he doesn't attack Pale Blue. Because he'll think that Pale Blue's on a different moon. I have to say that's his bar plan. I'm telling you, once he gets on over to the moon where Orange and Blue are residing, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be like, what are these guys doing? Does he see it? Does he see it? No, he doesn't see it yet. He will in a sec. It, it seems like blue won't help orange anymore. There are no dynamic alliances in this battle, right? No, no. Oh, boom bots away. I guess he really wants to make sure that he just wins this one. Oh, there's no umbrella eater. That sucks for him. Okay, so now he knows what he's up against. He might set in his stuff now. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go in. I mean, now blue's completely fucked. Look, he's there's nowhere. He's nowhere at all on this world. He's gone. Are you happy now? You made blue go extinct. Oh, little blue mop. Ouch. Ooh. Boom bots. You have killed everything in sight. What's painful? What's painful about it? Just go in. Who are the. <laughs> you are the one causing it. What do you think you're doing? I just. <laughs> You have like almost 
1,700 units in total, with about 1,500 that are delegated to, like, bombers, fighters, spy planes, and the occasional boom bots. This guy over here also has a ton of units, but I mean, who's who has the lion's share? It would be you, my friend. Dude, I I wonder what's he doing right now? What is what is he doing? Oh wait, oh my God, he's actually gonna get a Haley smashable missile. That that is sick. Wait, but he can't transport over air fabric, so he's going to need ah. There we go. Oh, well, I guess he can do it. He has the eco. What's Purple's game plan in all this? Whoa, who damaged this? Um. Um. I am now slightly confused. Oh no! He's sucking his life force. The cruelty. Oh, is it happening? Is it? No, it's not happening. Not yet. Currently, 1600. Fighters and bombers. Just the absolute evil that would be that player's. Ooh. Whoa. You got some umbrella. You got an umbrella forming up. would be ashamed if someone was able to fully build it. Okay. Which planet is he on again? He's on Pakistan. Okay. You know, I think you could reclaim this, can't you? Nah, whatever. Anchor will be able to kill it. Oh, no, no, he is reclaiming it. And building the anchor at the same time. Smart. Anchor, I don't know, can actually woodshot air fabrics or not. You might be able to. Yeah, there's so there's a significant amount of downtime going on. Mr. Elite over here trying to consolidate his power. Purple, blue, and orange. Still trying to like, I guess, hold on for dear life. And teal is just continuing building up defenses and some I guess alternative plans to attacking Shed Core. Probably not going to directly fight him, but instead he's going to use a Haley or something along those lines. Whoops. He definitely isn't going to get out nukes. He doesn't even have these factories producing. Oh no, wait, he has them producing. No. Never mind, I'm a dum dum. Yeah, a catapult would actually end off. Ooh, that's a lot of catapults, friend. <laughs> Boom me, baby. Boom me, baby, one more time. I love how if you try to escape off world really, really fast in this particular map. You get punished for it, which is really cool. It's like, no, you wanted Mexes? He don't get any. Speaking of Mexes, I can go with a double cheeseburger right now. Oh crap, that's a lot of adventures. I think right now there's too many advanced fabbers for 
the lead over here to worry about uh, a couple of Avengers, but then again, we'll have to say this. The guy has every right to be worried about his orbital fabrics dying off. Oh, he saved the advanced fabric. That's cute. It's like, do not worry, my friend. I will save you. Oh my! <gasps> bum bum bum! It's happening! It's happening! He doesn't have enough fabers. That sucks. So is he just gonna keep this army? <laughs> He's just gonna keep building bumblebees too. Never even use them. Okay, you're gonna need to do something, otherwise <laughs> this player over here is going to kind of stomp. A Hulkins would actually destroy the teleporter in one shot, kill all the advanced fabrics off using the AoE, and afterwards maybe even hit a catapult or two. You know that or he could build like tons and tons of units and then send them out. Again, right now I'm just thinking. I mean, the easiest solution for Elite to win is just to simply send in his horde. But he won't send in the horde. Instead, he will keep the horde. He will keep producing stuff for the horde. As well as build up these Haley's. Look at that. Look at that orange soda mist. Fanta, Fanta, don't you wanna? Well, you know who to blame. Huh. Well, that would be blue. Like dark blue. The. Same guy who's on, I think, Ukraine? No, 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 he's on Turkey. What is their game plan? No, you escaped your dungeon. Who the hell let the troll back in? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boom bots. Nice job, Teal. Way to go. And now with the Avengers coming in, he'll be able to basically knock Elite out of this area. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Alright, dude. There's only one way now to win. You either... Go in and kill this army, or you kill his commander. Either one works. It's anybody's game now. It, it really is anybody's game. Oh, what are you? No, don't go down south. Oh, oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh my god. 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. It's happening. Oh. 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 It's a blanket. It's a giant blanket. Crap, that's a lot of that's a lot of bumblebees and hummingbirds. Okay, really quick what's going on in Pakistan. Huh. Well a couple of slimers would actually negate all the boom bots that could come forward.
Oh, he actually stopped production. Good. Okay, so no more lag. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, I agree with Cola College sentiments. This is getting a little, a little bit too crazy. Like you, yeah, you, you, like you could probably kill this commander. I think, in my opinion. He's been, he's being really see it's silly. Like, I mean, uh, there's, okay, Flak is really powerful, granted, but you have 1,800 units. Flak ain't gonna, Flak ain't gonna kill 1,800 units. This silly Billy. Wow, he's bringing in some T2 shit. Yeah, you do. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Yeah, he has 1800 units. Eighteen hundred and seventy. Oh, 1880. Whoops, my bad. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a Pelter duel. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Ever since the Alpha. Actually, no, the Beta. Beta had a lot of Pelter duels. I hate Pelter duels. You know what? So I'm just gonna probably just focus on this area of the battle. Like in the entire game, because this is a little bit more interesting. At this point, this player is being silly. He's he's just a goose noggle. Or that, either that, or like he's knowingly, you know, I I just want to make, I just want to crash the server, or I just want to test out the server's capabilities. Which you know what, this is the purpose of the free for all right now, just to test out to see if we can do 40 player games. But I don't know, I feel like he's being silly. Shall they die? Will he? No. I don't know how he's gonna actually defend against all of this. Wow, he's gonna out pelter the pelter god. What is Teal doing? Teal's attacking everybody but this player. I wonder, does he have a backup plan? There is a uh, enemy Sissix over here coming in. I think you have an umbrella, don't you? No, you don't. 
But you can probably pop open umbrella really fast if you can pop open these umbrellas pretty fast. Also, you do have well not umbrellas, uh, pelters. So you do have bot factories being produced. Wow, that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Where is your god now, Kid Arena? Ooh, the boom bots, they are deadly. Now, if he actually went after the fabrics, he would have done untold amounts of damage to, like, um, Elite's production. What is Elite doing? He's sending in a boom bot horde? I guess. And there's no way for him to defend against this now. There's just too many vanguards, too many shellers, too many boom bots. BRN will be able to take the haleable moon over here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my word. You have nothing. You have nothing but anchors and pelters to defend against this. Oh, holy shit. This could be it. This could, uh, oh, wait, wait. You know, you're going to go in and kill the flak. Hey, but Boombots are like super weak. Those all those flat cannons die. He's making his way to his commander. Oh wow, that was a huge vanguard boom. Actually, it didn't really kill a lot of guys. It just created a huge explosion. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Give the commander some uber hugs. Oh, will this be it? Yep, that was it. Well, that was, um, strange. So now what's gonna happen? All right, so you're gonna kill purple, I'm guessing, and then uh, who's left? Are they still alive? Those uh, two players? No, they're not on Pakistan. They're on Turkey. Yes, they are still alive. How? I I don't know how. I don't <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh my god! I hope they somehow win. <laughs> this time, floating on a rock in space. Holy moly, guacamole. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell him to... Uh, what was it? Kill the fighters and the bombers to end the lag. Like, he can do that. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. It's a giant blanket. Twenty seven gigabyte RAM in use of thirty. That is crazy. Next time around, I'm just gonna go five vehicle factories, then afterwards just pump out some bombers and fighters. Yeah, I think that would work out a little bit uh, more effectively. Where is your laser platform, friend? Oh, that it is.
All I see is death. All I see is death. It's a blanket. It's not units, it's a blanket. How far along are you, by the way? Oh wait, I think everything's normal now. Yeah, now that he's not putting all of his units into one ball and having them follow each other, the simulator is actually going a lot faster. Well, not the simulator, the game's actually going a lot faster. Granted, I bet if he killed off all of his fighters and bombers, there would be no more lag. We got a Legion of Blue holding on for three their life. Go. The Legion of Blue, go. Flat cannons are really powerful. Wow. Wow. It's a good thing Hornets outranged them. Well, both a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. Wish there was like a mobile flat cannon for um, anti air capabilities. Like a spinner, but with a flak on top of it. You need five Haley's, so. Two more after this one. Oh. Oh, yes, there goes your freedom, friend. Oh, my God. It's a never ending death blanket. Oh, look at that. He's killing them off. Good. I think he killed all the hummingbirds off? Yeah, he did. So, how many units are left? There are about... 727. Okay, that's, that's a pretty massive, actually, reduction. Let's look at the bumbling adventures of blue and orange. There are none. How do we plan to continue this? I, I don't think it's going to continue any longer, Cola. Yeah, look how fast it's going now. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. The fabric is just much one by one. Hoorah. Hoorah. Did orange escape or was that blue? I don't know. No, none of them escaped actually. Yeah, blue's still over here, just hanging about. Chilling. It's like in a baby stroller from the looks of it. Wow, those fabricators finished that Haley fast. And that is a lot of metal. What do you ping, friend? What are you pinging? Oh, this is it. The straw to the break the camel's back? You need six Haley's? No, you just need five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Ah, okay. I wonder, if you build more Haley's, does that make your 
What? Oh, your moon or your Haley go a little bit faster? That'd be pretty cool. Imagine this thing just zooms by like the flash, like zoom. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I guess we're gonna see how everything's gonna go down. What is Blue gonna do? What is he gonna do? Well, currently he's doing nothing. Oh, I'm a little planet in space. Oh yeah, anti nukes very important actually. It's a good thing that Blue and Orange only have one nuke. Ah. Does that anti nuke cover all of these uh, moon, um, these Haley's? Yeah, I think it does. Hey, how's it going? I love seeing the bombers on the. The, what was it? The planet's floor. Oh! We went into the planet. Just for a little bit. Gonna go around the solar system now. Oh, blue, you douche. You left the orange all alone. So mean. Here comes. It comes. Oh, never mind. It was like, no, I would not die. I would never die. Oh, that happened though. So, now what? Oh. Oh, what, 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 what? Where did you go? Where are you going? Now it will take ages. Well, I guess now Blue's immortal. Can't really kill him. Technically now, Blue wins the game. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, do it, I, yeah, like, do it, I guess. Like, I mean, at this point, it's not going to be over. This this commander is going to take forever to get to wherever the hell he's going, if he actually goes anywhere. Like, I mean, I don't know where he's going. That would be the end of the server. Well, that was pretty fun. Yep, there we go. Anyway, guys, so if you want to play on one of these servers, you have to download PA stats online and I guess just wait about for one of them to pop up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.